Hey guys, welcome to a stupid challenge I tried to, I invented called the Seven Macaw Bachelorette Challenge. Okay, she immediately wants to go and dance or listen deeply. Basically, we have seven flavors of macaws. You just saw the sad one, sad vampy one out there going up. Basically, the goal is all these Makoas have to romance Sage and basically the one who wins uh, whoever can woohoo with her first or get full bars uh, wins, essentially, the challenge. They're all locked in the house, they've got barbecue, they've got a bar, they've got a hot tub, and they should all start being in a flirty mood from all the flirty the flirty stuff. We're actually going to need to add more out here, I think. We have a vampire Makoa from My Realm of Magic save, you guys might remember him. We have the one from Clash of Bond save. We have a Playboy one I made. A bad boy one who was doing the running man and got stuck behind that already. The OG Makoa and Beach Punk that I made. And yep, also Geek Makoa who's wearing thick nerd glasses and I'm all for it. Jesus, my frame rate just died like instantly as soon as this uh, started. <laughs> Let's just give it a moment to catch up. The goal is really to focus on who Sage is chatting with and uh, feeling it with the most. Although apparently they're all starting to get overheated from uh, from the heat. So into your hot weather gear you go. Also, Geek McCurr just wears a kilt and I'm all about that. They're all in the good mood and already one of them has already started self-woohooing. Oh, oh! She flirted with the, uh, she flirted with OG Makoa. That's cute. That's cute. I think OG Makoa is in the lead currently. She just keeps complimenting him. She's flirted with him and complimented him only. He could be the one that wins. Perhaps. Sage is just living her dream right now, just being surrounded surrounded by Makoas. This is just what her dreams are like. She just lives in a house filled with Makoas and they all just worship her. The ultimate. The ultimate dream. Right there. And aside from her, uh, they're, all, they're all feeling flirty except for Vampy and Bad Boy. Bad Boy who's pissed currently because of, of the body shaming thing. He's insulting Makoa. He's insulting one of them. Because he's a meanie hothead. And you're just confident because you're feeling much better about your security, about your body. They're just surrounded by champagne bottles everywhere to boost the flirtiness. And they're all chatting currently, except this one, he's in the hot tub. Currently she started flirting with this one. Bad Boy Mako is kind of just getting on people's nerves. Apparently he doesn't like uh, the Clash of Bond one. Oh, Sage, not you two. Her immediate reaction is, I must self woohoo. Okay, I think Chaos is already starting because we've got, again, another. I think Bad Boy Makoa is woohooing in the bed. These two are flying with each other. Everyone else is just kind of wandering around. They're, they're baking hamburger cakes. And you're just dancing outside. Beach Punk Makoa, I think, complimented Sage. And she greatly appreciates it. And he wants to cloud gaze that. Oh, that's so nice. And now she wants to dance. All right, no dancing. That's enough dancing. Are you... F okay, these two have romance. This Makoa has game for some reason. I'm not sure how he's, how these two have managed to just start... Start getting flirty with each other. That's always the, the thing you've kind of got to... You've got seven dudes all vying for the affection of one girl, but they're all going to start pairing off with each other at some point. Weirder when it's all the same person. Oh, seriously, they're all just flirting with each other. I think I just saw... Yeah, you just start flirting with him. Now I've just got them all flirting and they all keep self-woohooing in the bed. Why well, don't all go into the bedroom at once? Don't... Don't. Don't, don't get into the bed as well. Nope, you're just sad. He has just suddenly started... Started sobbing. Oh, it's getting... It's getting... I, this is where the chaos starts. Okay, I think the, yeah, these two... Yeah, Bad Boy and Clash of Balls, Makar have literally 
just started flirting with each other. They just keep being romantic with each other for some reason. I like how they were all out here and now they've all of a sudden decided to go over here. Oji Mako though is just chilling in the hot tub in his snorkel. He's just chilling in the hot tub in his snorkel like a sensible person. Are you flirting with him as well? You have game. This Makoa has some serious game for some reason. He just keeps flirting with everyone in the house. Although, currently, Sage is the only person to have developed romance. The oh no, not you, it's bad boy Makoa, isn't it? That you somehow, somehow develop romance with. Sage is here just like, oh, I'm here. Oh, she did some flirtation then. That worked. Didn't bring a romance bar up. These guys are all chilling in the hot tub. And I think you were under the covers as well. Yeah, I'm getting rid of the bed for now. Because they don't get to sleep now. If they want to sleep, they have to, they have to pass out on the floor like everyone else does. Because the bed was just starting to get... If anyone wants to woohoo now, they got to do it in the hot tub. So she's currently just in here chatting with Geek Makoa and Vampy Makoa. And all the others are just outside in the hot tub. Just having, like... They're all just... Are they just... Yeah, they're floating with bad... What, you and you both float with bad boy Makoa. Bad boy Makoa, who now... He just only has romance with this one. Ooh, she got romance with uh, Playboy Makoa. Seems her and Playboy had a bit of... Uh, managed to get some flirty bantery. Ness in. Whilst these two have literally just, like, romance growing for some bloody reason. Oh, she's got romance with OG and Playboy. So now we're getting somewhere. Now it's starting to ramp up, but we got to get the romance rolling. So all they can do is chat with each other or dance or barbecue. I've been doing this for about 45 minutes now. In that time, Sage has started romancing OG Makoa and Playboy Makoa. Uh, Clash of Balls Makoa seems to be having romance with these three, but it seems to be going down with Bad Boy Makoa because he's a bit of a bastard. As <laughs> now turning into a uh, Chaos with these guys. You're having more success. Well, I say you were having success, and now there's just red hearts going everywhere. Frankly, the only one who doesn't seem to have any interest right now is just Vampy Makoa, who just wants to vibe. Okay, well, Makoa and Bad Boy Makoa absolutely hate each other now. He tried to apparently tried to steal from him in the hot tub, and that did not work. But apparently, he won the fight that they apparently had. So just currently two choices is uh, OG Makoa and Playboy Makoa. She likes complimenting both of them and flirting with them both. Depending on which one's nearer. Wow, these guys are starting to hate each other now. <laughs> this went from being like some sort of weird weird flirtation. You still want to do the do with him. And these and now these guys just absolutely hate each other. Oh, who does she choose? I like think Playboy Makoa is actually kind of a cute one for her to sort of... Move into Geeky is just still pretty good. It's just the same guy each time. Beach Punk, he's great. He's just like my OG uh, alpha makeover of Makoa that I thought I put in for the challenge. Oh, she's gone off to sleep, you guys. Yeah. Kind of have to because I didn't want them to keep self wukuing in, in the bed. Oh, see, I like Geeky Makoa now as well for Sage. I don't know which. To choose. It's a choice between the OG, who's obviously a classic Playboy Makoa, who, you know, he's just got the hair, just makes him look really good, or Geek Makoa, who puts on a kilt and then just goes from like nine to fifteen really quickly. And then apparently, poor this Makoa, the one who originally married Sage in the original Island Living. Uh, Clash of Thorns save. Ends up sort of having a weird Hong Kong thing with this guy. <laughs> he has no interest in Sage at all. I don't think he speaks to her. Alright, who started the fire? Ah, god damn it. 
Immediately he just puts it down, just like... Did not do anything. I did not start a fire. Well, that's killed the moot. They can't even leave. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a challenge until a fire, is it? Say, so just become good friends with this Makoa. <gasps> that's actually so cute. They're so cute. He is, he is winning her friendship right now. I think he could also win her heart, the OG. Also, look at the way the hips are swaying right now. I think it's what happens when you listen to Island, to the Island Radio. You, they just start doing the hip swinging. And Beach Makoa, Beach Punk Makoa, yeah, has just passed out on the floor. Cause this cause if there was a bed they just kept on self woohooing so no bed. You gotta sleep on the floor. Like everybody else. She has the actual the option to first kiss Makoa. I'm going to let her do that. Because OG Makoa seems to have been winning her heart. I would kind of take uh bad boy bad where's bad boy? Bad boy Makoa and Clash of all McCray at the running because they both slept with each other in the closet. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to just steal money from everyone. <laughs> These guys just had the nice first kiss. So I think it's safe to say that this Makoa is winning. And now she's just uber happy. <laughs> Oh, he's flirting with her now. I think this Makoa might have won the challenge at least because he he had the option. She had the option to kiss him first out of like this Makoa. No. Uh. No. No. Uh, like literally. Uh. Oh wait, I was looking at the wrong one. Like, no, no. Like, very few of them. Only, like, OG, Beach, uh, Geek, and Playboy did she have a, a chance to romance with. But OG is the one she got to kiss first. These two are just now being super flirty and romantic with each other. She's blowing kisses to him now. And he's getting super... Like, she's flirting with him, he's flirting with her. It's now just a steamy exchange. Can we just get an F in the chat for his relationship with bad boy Mako right now? Poor guy. They were, they were doing so well at first, and then he tried to steal money from him, and then it's just, I hate you now. Sage wants to have a little chat with you. Got some here. Oh. Oh, he, <laughs> she propositioned him, did she? I think I know who's won Sage's heart. And I think it is official. It doesn't matter if you're a, a bad boy, uh, a beach punk, a vampire. Uh, this guy, a geek or a playboy, OG Makoa was always the one for Sage. Also, look, it's the other OG Makoa running by, unaware that all his clones are in here going through absolute chaos. This was a very weird challenge. Well, in fact, this is a hard challenge. It is very hard to get seven clones to, like, get a Wookiee. Mako, will you stop trying to mug people? Jesus, these guys do not like each other. Anymore. But we have a winner. The OG Makoa created by... she. Like, they did it in the closet whilst he was wearing his snorkel. I mean, what does that tell you, people? 
he was he was destined he was destined for greatness and he definitely won <laughs> i'd say and also just f in the chat for for this makoa who sadly who sadly had the worst relationship had ended up with the worst relationship out of out of all of them and they're all just going back into the hot tub now and vampy makoa just got to chill and vibe but he's sad now oh are you getting uncomfortable oh you're getting hungry that's why okay well that was the end of this challenge it's a hard challenge i don't recommend you try it because seven seven clones all in one all in one house they all just end up flirting with each other so i'm going to finish this awful awful but hilariously stupid challenge here i told you it was stupid I told you it was a stupid challenge and I'm just going to leave them to their own devices. If you want to see me do more challenges, please let me know. And let me know what other stupid ideas I could do. For this, I could do freaking... Um, I don't know. Think of any challenges for me. I didn't even know if I'll put this up. Because it was just so... Not tedious. It was just... Not a lot happened in certain parts of it. But thank you guys so much for watching this stupid challenge. Let me know if you want to see more of these kind of things. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye now.